Hey guys, welcome back. So yes, we've got another review from Banggood. Thank you, Banggood. And we've got the JJRC Q65. Now this is proven to be a very popular rig amongst the small scale community. And uh, it's no surprise. It's one little looker, fair play. It's a Willys Jeep. And we're going to take a quick look at the box. Then we're going to have a closer look. And uh, I'll be going through the good points and the bad points. Lots of bad points, I'm afraid to say. But nevertheless, it's a neat little truck so yes on the box lots of details it's a 2.4 gigahertz four-wheel drive shaft driven drivetrain which is always nice uh, some some of the the wording that we get from the uh, the Chinese manufacturers model rudder deflection can be adjusted <laughs> uh, so yes uh, you can see there front and rear lights realistic chassis Pursuit of realistic details. Come round this side. We got a bit of a story on the Willys Jeep. I'll leave that there if you want to pause it and have a read. Come round this side. Got uh, more information, pretty much what we had on the other side. We got two versions of this truck. We got one with a canopy, one without, and it comes in three colours: army green, military blue, and. I'm going to call it tan yellow. <laughs> so yeah, that's enough looking at the box. And there she is. The JJRC Q65 Willys Jeep. Now I've uh, I've joined a couple of uh, Willys Jeep Facebook groups just to see how uh, true to scale this thing actually is. And it's pretty close. I mean, you've got the shovel on the side there that you can, uh, you can pull out. Everything on this truck unclips. So it's a, it's a scale modeler's dream if you want to be weathering up, making it look uh, more realistic and army-like. And yes, I, uh, I was looking looking through the uh, the the Willys Facebook groups, and yeah, this is very very close to the real thing, believe it or not. Uh, it's labelled as a one tenth, um, a bit a bit dubious about that. It's certainly bigger than my C34, which is about a 112. So I'd say this is about a 111 scale. So yeah, I've got the, the canopy edition. What you also get in the pack as well is a USB charger to charge your battery. We'll talk a bit more about the battery in a minute. You would obviously get the canopy, but I've already installed that. And you get a nice little instruction book. Not a lot really in there. You also get a standard JJRC transmitter, which I must admit is very nice. It feels very nice. Got a bit of foam on the wheel, which is always nice. Fits nice in the one hand. Perfect for one-handed steering. Takes two double A's. And you've got an array of settings there. Throttle trim, steering trim, and even a throttle dual rate, which is handy for the little ones. Turn it down, and they're not going to be going as fast and breaking as much. So we'll take a quick look at the functionality in a minute. There's one thing that's not actually true to scale, it's these front wheels. I've noticed that the real willies, the front wheels actually sit a tiny bit further forward. So it's not too much of a big deal. It's uh, easily enough to mod if you wanted to go into that much detail. You could easily just uh, screw some extra holes into the chassis and move it forward slightly. So yes, the good points. It's a very nice looking truck indeed. The scale aesthetics are very nice. You've got a very detailed interior there with all the uh, the gear sticks, different ratios. Got nice seats. There's even a back seat in there like the real thing. Sorry, you can't see that. The the way the canopy actually fits as well. If you have a look there, it's actually true to the real thing. Like I said, I've been looking, uh, looking on the groups. You've got a little fuel tank here, which is removable. Very nice. You could paint that up, paint some numbers on there. And uh, yes, that's one good point. It's a very good looking truck like we've mentioned. Uh, another good point, um, it comes fully proportional straight out the box. So you're getting proportional steering, but it's not three wire proportional steering. It's five wire proportional steering. And it's a little bit weaker than what you'd uh, get out of the, the MN99, the C24-1, so to speak. Um, okay, 
we might come up with some more good points as we go through but for now that's it bad points okay it comes with a 4.8 volt uh, NICAD battery I nearly said lithium ion I'm so used to saying that so yes I'm used to 7.4 volt uh, lithium ions now with the the newer models um, MN and uh, WPL, even Faye with the new FY003-1 coming out. There's one of those coming to the channel soon for review. They, they're actually going out the way and, and improving their trucks. So, you know, uh, if you take a look at WPL, for instance, they've gone from having plastic gears and a 130 motor and a 6-volt battery to now having metal gears, fully proportional steering and a 7.4-volt battery. I'd like to see JJRC do the same in the future. This is actually pretty old news in my eyes so yeah bad points we've got the small battery we've got a 130 motor in there we've also got uh, plastic ring differential gears the pinion gears are checked and metal which is yeah, not bad we've got plastic ring differential gears in there and a 130 motor like i mentioned so it's it's underpowered to say the least especially combined with this 4.8 volt battery so we'll turn it on we'll take a quick look at the functionality just to show you guys battery fits nicely in there plenty of room under this tray for a bigger battery but i have been speaking to some people who actually own this truck uh, shout out to sharky's garage he said that the max he got running on was six volts it actually burnt out on 7.4 so just just uh Heads up for you guys. <clears throat> so, I've installed the battery. On and off switch situated. At the front there. And then we got the transmitter. Nice big power button. Nice beep. And everything's binded. So, yeah, we've got a full set of lights. We've even got the, the military style red lights. Which I, I actually quite like those. But we've also got bright white lights. Which, for this truck, are very bright. For this truck isn't true to scale as these old trucks would normally have warm glow we've also got a set of rears same thing really bright white lights and the red ones as well so we have got proportional steering so you can turn it a little bit and you'll get a little bit but it's, it's just not as sensitive and and reactive as a three-wire server would be but nevertheless, it's still proportional steering, and you also get proportional throttle. And the, the slow slow control factor is actually very good on this truck. But I will say the downside is that if you're steering, see, I'm going to give it some throttle, and it start steering. See it cutting out? There's not enough power there from that battery to steer and turn on slow gradients. So you have to give it more, more beans. So that one uh, 130 motor combined with a 4.8 volt battery doesn't actually give a lot of draw current to the motor. Whereas if I was doing this now with a C24-1, it would easily climb up over my hand. It's just cutting out. If you can see that, that's throttle pinned. It actually hasn't got enough power to do any any form of uh, climbing. It'll, it'll, it'll be okay on the trail, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with the performance of this truck. The, the overall aesthetics are second to none. It's a gorgeous looking truck. Uh, the tyres, they're not too bad. I was expecting them to be quite hard, but the actual shape and design of them isn't going to allow for much. But yeah, they're not too bad. They're quite soft. So yeah, just a quick one from me today, guys. Just to, just to show you around this truck a bit more. Just to get a, a general feel for it. It is worth mention, I'll be doing a giveaway of this truck, so make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. But before giving it away, I will be upgrading it. I've already got the parts here. I plan to put a WPL 180 and B36 gearbox in there. A set of B36 right around electronics, so that will then come with proportional three-wire steering. And then I'll be combining that with a 7.4 lithium-ion battery. Uh, I'll be leaving the, the drivetrain stock, we'll see how that goes, so we'll be having uh, metal pinion and plastic ring differential, we'll see how that goes, but yeah, I'm going to plan on giving this truck a little bit more power, and also we're going to be putting some warm glow lights in this, so it's going to really finish it off nicely, so yeah, like I said, 
make sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell because coming up obviously on the channel we're going to be doing an upgrade video and a test video after the upgrades and somewhere along the lines in one of those videos i'll be mentioning how you can actually win this track so yeah thanks for watching guys i'll catch you on the next one